we all know how handy a combination square is. And we recently included an article in Woodsmith Magazine about combination squares. And in response to that article, we had a reader write in his tip that I think is a really good one. I want to share that with you. So I'm pretty sure we've all seen the trick on using a combination square to scribe a parallel line to the edge of a workpiece. The problem is, doing that, your line is not terribly accurate. Even though you may set the fence on the ruler at three inches, your line is actually sitting right outside that three inch mark. It's because the lead is riding on the outside edge of the end of the ruler. So this reader's tip is to grab a file and file a small notch in the end. Now the notch doesn't have to be very big, and the whole point here is that once you set your distance, let's call it three inches, that notch creates an area for the lead of the pencil to sit in. That way the lead is in line with the end of the ruler, and then your line's accurate. It's a great tip to make an accurate tool even more accurate.